Hey YouTube, Shelka04 here. So I wanted to do a uh, update to my video about mining Bitcoin with uh, solar power. As you can see, and I don't know if I uh, mentioned this in the uh, last video I made way back when, uh, when I had two solar panels stolen, those have uh, been replaced and uh, the strings have been brought back online and we're now churning out an extra 700 watts an hour during uh, sunup. So let me, uh, let me go around and we'll uh, get into it. So these are the, uh, the refrigerator and freezer that I was using as a load before, but I've turned those off because I'm now using my Bitcoin uh, computers as loads. We're gonna start out here. Uh, the important thing to note is the thermometer there. That's a Bluetooth connected thermometer. I've got one outside and I've got one inside and that's so I can monitor the temperature inside where the computers are. So let's go inside and look at that. So that up there is the, uh, the meat and potatoes of everything. And so we're going to go over it from right to left. In the very corner up there, that's the connection for my ISP. And we've got a, uh, a small, like a 15 inch dish outside that connects to an antenna on the other side of town. And so uh, we get internet here. It's not screaming fast. It's fast enough to stream video. But, uh, you know, that's what that is. Now to the left of that there, is an IP connected power switch. Now the problem I ran into is that that power switch will only handle 15 amps and combined my three miners draw about 18 amps and that doesn't take into account the minimal amount of power being drawn by the uh, router or by the uh, ISP uh, uh, box there. So the solution and now the reason I went with the with that switch is IP enabled allows me to monitor it anywhere in the world and I can control the outlets from anywhere in the world also that switch has enough intelligence been built into it that I can have it pinging and I can have it ping outside of uh, my micro network or I can have it ping in-house so what I do is I've got it pinging uh, I guess Google if it doesn't see Google then what it does is first thing it does is it resets the uh, the ISP and then a few minutes later it resets the router and then if it sees Google life is grand now in the event of a blue screen of death I've also got it pinging the actual computers and that's what those three white cords are underneath if a, a computer locks up with a blue screen of death the switch will no longer see a ping from that computer and will power cycle that computer. Also, it's set up to send me an email and a, uh, a uh, page or a text so that I can deal with that accordingly. So there's that stuff. I've got the air conditioner that's been running for the last, shit, I don't know, maybe eight or nine years. And that's uh, consistently set on 60 degrees year round. Next to that is a, uh, let me find a stick. Hang on. In that case, I put three contactor switches. And those contactor switches receive high amperage 120 from here, these two power strips. The white lines come from the ISP connected power switch inside the box uh, damn it hang on I'm gonna get the stool inside the box 
are three Packard uh, contactor switches. So I use the, on the white lines, I've got low amperage 120 coming in from the uh, ISP connected power switch. And that, those control the, uh, the contactor switches, which handle the higher amperage that's being drawn by the uh, internet, I'm sorry, by the uh, Bitcoin miners. So let me step back and step down. So we've got high amperage coming in from the uh, power strips being controlled by the contactor switches which then send the higher amperage out you can't see it really but that line right there and that goes to uh, each one of the Bitcoin miners now if you notice I've got each one of the ends wrapped with a uh, cable tie or a cable strap one tells me it's Bitcoin miner one two tells me it's Bitcoin miner two and three on it mean it's a uh, Bitcoin miner number three so then we'll look over here at the actual Bitcoin miners which aren't working at the moment and the reason is because I've been doing maintenance on number three up here and I don't want uh, dust or crud or anything falling down onto the other miners so this is a Bitcoin miner. It's got six MSI 1060 video cards in it that do the actual mining. I'm so happy that I went with all the same video card. That way I only had to load one set of drivers to uh, handle that. And that made uh, debugging stuff a hell of a lot easier. On the, uh, on the actual miners themselves, hang on. If you look, there's this uh, plug here, plugged into the uh, VGA port. And what that does basically is reflects back a, uh, an indication that there's a monitor hooked up. Because what I discovered is if you run tight VNC or any other VNC client, which I run to communicate with the uh, Bitcoin miners, but if you run those, uh, sometimes you don't consistently get a uh, screen refresh. And the reason is because uh, the operating system wants to see or wants to communicate with a monitor and so those plugs fool the uh, computers into thinking that there's a monitor there and the uh, tight VNC runs uh, like a champ I've got four 120 millimeter fans on front as well as on back uh, each rig is essentially identical as far as motherboard uh, CPU and uh, RAM and uh, I went with a, uh, as far as motherboard, a Gigabyte GA-H110-3A. Or is it D, I guess it's a D3A. It doesn't matter. Google it, you'll get it, you'll get that. And uh, the reason I went with that is because uh, there's, within the BIOS, there's a mining specific uh, configuration that, uh, sets everything up for you so the BIOS uh, is pretty much a uh, uh, slam dunk now one thing for people who uh, are old school like me and don't uh, you know let me point this out whether you know it or not each one of the uh, video cards in there is controlled by a, uh, a slave tap that comes off of the motherboard so you see those little uh, those little things there, each one of those is plugged into a PCI slot. Then there's a USB cable that goes from the top of that, that's what those blue things are, to the back of the uh, each one of the uh, video cards. So in theory, I could have a really uh, crappy uh, Pentium grade computer and have those things plugged into it and just have a, uh, a secondary box hosting the uh, video cards. The, uh, the issue there would be the uh, secondary uh, power supply necessary to support that. But that, that's sort of how a mining rig is set up. The reason I went with wood, again, is because it was cheaper and I could modify things on the fly as, uh, as necessary. But uh, uh, finally, let's, e let's end with the... Uh, this is a Bluetooth-connected thermometer. 
you can see it's uh, 73 in here right now and 81 outside and it would probably be closer to uh, 65 in here if I didn't have the door open and again because that's Bluetooth enabled via the uh, the uh, router and not uh, slaved into one of the uh, PCs I'm able to uh, monitor the temperature inside the hut uh, again from anywhere in the world also on this computer I've got this Bluetooth chip here which monitors the inverters for uh, my solar panels so I can get a, uh, a feel for the output and uh, and see what the weather's like and you know make sure the panels okay are okay and again I can do all of that remotely the idea is to be able to generate enough metrics whether it's temperature uh, power uh, input power output uh, as well as the amount of uh, money being generated by the uh, the Bitcoin miners that I'll be able to determine uh, without having to come into the hut what exactly is wrong with uh, one of the computers or if I need to throttle back on something to address a, a temperature issue or something like that. The other thing to note is that I used quarter inch cement board uh, as a base between each one of the uh, Bitcoin miners and that's because when I shine up here with a uh, infrared thermometer it's uh, about 95 degrees on the bottom of that cement board and that's all the heat coming up from uh, from the video cards and I just basically didn't feel like having this Bitcoin miner slowly cooking the one above it and that one in turn slowly cooking the one above it so the uh, the cement board uh, reflects and sort of acts as a, a heat sink and uh, dissipates that as uh, as necessary I guess I don't know whatever anyway that's all I've got. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. Otherwise, we'll uh, talk to you later. Shelka 04 out. Thanks. Bye.